told the Vaishnavas are like lighthouses. Give guidance to the lost ships. So many ships are out in the ocean, floating around. Where to go? What direction? Huh? Is what, dire what direction is proper? And the lighthouse is there. Oh, there's the lighthouse. Now we know where to go. The Vaishnava is the lighthouse give direction, enlightenment. <laughs> you were telling the devotees are like lighthouses before. And this one verse, Nittai Charan Satya, there was one devotee named Nittai Charan Prabhu. Okay. And um, he traveled, I saw he, he traveled with Srila Shanta Maharaj many years ago and he was there living in India with the Jari Maharaj and helping at the uh, Ekachakra temple. 
So I think he settled there after he was a, I think, a disciple of Govinda Maharaj, or Govinda Maharaj, and then he settled in Ekachakra and was one of the Savites there. And he actually he passed away like uh, six months before Acharya Maharaj, and he was a Savite at Ekachakra. His name was Nitai Charan, you know. And so, so he was like a lighthouse because uh, he actually somehow his disappearance in Ekachakra somehow attracted Avadut Maharaj. And Avadut Maharaj traveled to Ekachakra and he was making videos. I remember at the time he was talking about Nitai Charan's pastimes in the mutt and his service to the mutt. And I remember publicly he was like asking for the mercy of Gurudev and Nityananda and Nitai Charan Prabhu for service to the Vaishnavs. And oh. in a very, you know, a mood like he wasn't he's not showing publicly many times, you know? And then just six months later, Acharya Maharaj left and 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 Avadut Maharaj was still there in, in, in Ekachakra and he got the opportunity to help with Acharya Maharaj's samadhi. Oh. And it was very odd, you know, it happened like that. Oh. But he was attracted by the lighthouse of Nitai Charan Prabhu and then he had the opportunity to serve Acharya Maharaj, actually. It was very interesting. Very nice. Nita Nita Charan Prabhu liked subjective evolution and our scientific preaching. Huh. He the only devotee in I find. He always told that you know uh, we I, in Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mart, He always told that I like Guru Maharaj preaching that you are doing of subjective evolution. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he not you know scholarly background or anything, but he has some. Loving affection for our services. And he used to always like to come. <laughs> Whenever we go to Nepal, he came many times with us. Uh, Only thing is his health was not so good, so it's not difficult for him to travel. He used to do arti when we go to different you know, places for preaching. He used to do arti there. He was for Mexico. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Pujari. Yeah, he was Pujari there. Thank you. 